your girl Kiara Washington Speaks and welcome back to my channel. Look y'all, I know it's been a while since I put out some content about Verizon, but if you have of course looked at the title and you've read the description, we're going to be talking about Verizon stuff today, okay? All right, let's get into it. So look you all, um, if you've watched, I would say the videos I've posted probably now at least five or six or maybe even seven months ago, you know that I am now what you call an account manager of business retail. And if you have been watching my content, you know that I moved from Virginia to Louisiana a little over a year ago to really boost and catapult my career with Verizon. So what I want to share with you all is this. I want to share a couple of tips and I'm going to just probably give you just maybe a few and break it down in series um, on the tips that I use to be able to use my job to relocate and start and create a better life for myself. So. The number one thing I did was simply this. I had to change my mindset in order to be able to see myself worthy of being able to get a better promotion and be able to move. Let me say that again. If your mindset is incorrect about promotion, if you don't believe that you have the tenacity, the skill, the will to do it, you won't ever do it, okay? You won't ever do it. So here's the thing. Get your mindset right. Get yourself in a position to be ready to shift. And also understand that because you're now in a position and you're ready to shift, now it's time for you to turn on those real wheels, get those wheels spinning and be able to be able to step into that new life that's created that you want to create for yourself. Okay. Number two, you all, if you've been watching my content, you know, I started out in a retail store, right? You know, I was a solutions uh, specialist for a little over two years, about two and a half years. What I did, one of the number one things I did before, well, after the mindset shift was I went to my GM at the time and I asked my GM, I had a one-on-one -on -one with him and I asked him, I said, hey, I'm really, you know, realizing that I've been doing this role now for a little over two years. I feel like I've hit my ceiling. I believe that I'm ready to go and do something else that's going to require more responsibility, more compensation, more money, more travel. I want something different. And he literally said, hey, if you really want something different, what you want to start doing is while you're in your solution specialist role, you need to find something to champion. And what do we mean by champion? What do I mean? I simply mean this. You need to find something in your current position to be able to say that you own. Yes, honey, that you own, that you can say, hey, nobody's beating me in this metric. Nobody's kicking my butt in this KPI. Nobody is the reigning champion of this but myself. And one thing that I could champion myself for at that time was, um, you know, if you work for Verizon, we have something where we, well, we got, we got paid off surveys. And one thing that I always got was customer experience. People love their experience with me. I always got nines and tens, mostly tens because your girl, you know, you good with people for the most part. But that was something that I championed. And I remember making sure for those six months while I stayed in that store, nobody beat me out in that role. I continued to champion customer experience. I continued to get tens and nines on all my surveys. And I also, while I was talking to my manager, I said, hey, I want more responsibility. So he said, okay, you want more responsibility? Let me start training you to become what we call a key holder. And so what's a key holder? It's kind of simple. A key holder is a person who kind of acts as a supervisor. You have the ability to be able to go in and out the stores, do openings, do closings, make sure people have done their closing duties. You count money, inventory, all that stuff. So it's kind of like being a manager without the management title, but you know the ins and outs of all the different uh, OEM and all that stuff you need to do to be able to be able to open open a store successfully, close a store successfully, and make sure everybody else has done their closing duties and tasks. So I asked for that. When I asked for that, what I noticed change was people's respect for me in the store, my peers began to change because they could see that I was on the road to do something different, to do something else. So what I want to encourage Every single person who's under the sound of my voice and comes across this video and you're looking to be promoted, figure out what you can do in your store to be able to champion and to be able to say, hey, this is a metric that I own. This is a, a system or something that we do on a regular basis that I know I do well and go to your supervisor and make sure that you let them know, hey, I want to be the forefront person or the expert on this. I want to be the expert on that. 
and you make sure that you hold your peers accountable. And here's the thing too. We are used to being in jobs where a lot of the times we do not feel that we can coach up, right? We, and what I say by coach up is we don't feel like we can go to supervisors, you know, and people in higher positions and say, hey, I remember when you said this or you said this and now I kind of think about it or I kind of went past this or I looked at the, you know, the code of ethics or whatever and I realized you didn't really say that right or that wasn't correct or suggest something different. Here's one thing that Verizon is great at doing. Verizon allows your manager, of course, of course, to coach down to you on things that you need to improve on to be a better salesperson or a better person in general in the, in the sales arena. And they also allow reps who are at entry level to coach up to their managers. So you use this as a, as a thing to be able to navigate. And what this also does is this gives you transferable skills because here's the thing, when you get into a pseudo management role like I'm in now, you have to use those skills to be able to communicate with your reps and to be able to communicate with other managers that you're working with side by side and on a regular basis. So number one, change your mindset, okay? And I told y'all, I'm gonna make this a couple part, parts because I know it's a lot of moving pieces. So I'm only gonna really go over three things in this video. So number one, mindset, okay? Get your mindset right. Make sure you're on the right task with things, okay? Number two, find a champion role, okay? And the reason why I say find a champion role is because you need something that you stand out and that explains and expresses your brand. Number three, and I'm going to say this because this is the easiest one, but we, we neglect this part and we feel like we need to do this later down the line. Get your butt on the VZ web and look at the jobs that are currently out there. Look at jobs that you feel like you qualify for. Look at jobs that you don't feel like you qualify for. And the reason why I'm saying to get your butt on the VZ web and look at the job listings and postings is because what it did for me was this. It showed me, number one, that there are so many opportunities out there in the world, period. Number two, it showed me that Verizon has a lot of moving pieces, right? We work for a really big corporation who has a lot of partners, a lot of uh, positions, a lot of locations. The hardest thing that we do sometimes to ourselves is we get somewhere, we get comfortable, and we feel like the world literally revolves where we are. We forget that there are other things, there are other locations, there are other positions, there are other jobs, there are other postings. So challenge yourself to get on the VZ web. I would say at minimum, get on there every 30 to 60 days. Look at the job postings. Look at the job listings. Don't just toggle down to your city or your state. If you live in Maryland, look at job postings in Virginia. Look at job postings in Maryland. Look at job postings in North Carolina. Look at job postings in New York City. Look at job postings in Maine. Look at job postings all around. Look at job postings on the West Coast. Because here's the thing, and I'm going to share this more in, the, in part two, but here's the thing. When you are valuable and you make yourself valuable, Verizon pays you for your value. Yeah, they do. When they know you are a valuable person and you're going to bring more revenue and more business to the business, they are going to pay you to do that. So look at VZ Web on a regular basis, okay? Let's run it down real quick. Mindset shift, okay? Yes, make sure your mind is correct. Make sure you're in the space you need to be in. Number two. What was number two, y'all? I forgot number two that quick. Oh, find a role to champion. Look, y'all, I was going after guy. <laughs> find a role to champion, okay? Find something that you can put your brand on and say, I do this well. This is my thing. I handle it. I do it. I crush it. Nobody's beating me. Number three, stay up on the job postings on BC Web. Make sure you're always looking on there. Even if you feel like your credentials don't fit it, this is where you're going to be able to at least see what's out there and you know what's available, okay? All right, look, I know it's been a minute. I know I'm looking completely different, y'all. Look, the hair has definitely grown. And the short story is, y'all, I've moved over to TikTok because a lot of my natural hair content has really taken off over there. So I have spent a lot less time talking about Verizon stuff over here. But I am going to try to work to at least try to get this series out to you all because... Y'all know my motto. You never know who may be educated, motivated, or inspired by what is said. So my hope and my prayer is that something that's said here helps you to be able to get that next level up, that relocation, that move, and at least spark the fire and the match in your brain to be able to think and know that you can do even more than what you're doing right now.
okay? I love you all. I appreciate you all taking the time out to watch this video. I'm your girl, Kira Washington Speaks, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.